that sends everybody out there in the universe. Tonight, I got a special guest coming on. Yeah, right through the universe, we got the voice of Toronto, the voice of the six, DJing, a legend, Mike Stone, selector. Yeah, great talent. Gonna check it out tonight live on the Down to Earth podcast season wrap up. Me and Rastafari Samurai in the studio. You're just gonna be waiting for Mike Stone. You could check the sponsor board in back of us. All our sponsors. You got cities. You got you know, Chill City, Herbal Culture. Hold the yeah. Bottle, Sean. Hold the bottle. Right there. That one there. Yeah, bless up, Chill City Toast of Toronto. Yeah. See the bottle? Bless up. Much respect. Toast of Toronto, Chill City. Chill City Vodka. It's the Down to Earth Podcast. And uh, tell them about the giveaway for, um, if you pay attention for the whole... uh, Bless up, Toast of Toronto. This is the giveaway right here. Giveaway... Up but you earbuds. Gotta, oh, wait. It's a little thing you gotta hold, uh, hold it like that. Explain them. Explain to them about the giveaway. Well, the giveaway that you gotta have to pay attention for the whole entire uh, live um, show. Show. Virtual you know what I mean? Show, yeah. If you really want these, you don't have to pay for nothing or anything. You just have to pay attention to the whole entire show. live show Tomorrow. in order to win these. So stay tuned to updates. for updates for you to win these exclusively earbud <laughs> pods for your phone. All right? You hear me, people? Bless See. Up. Mike Stone coming through the universe. Our special guest coming through the universe, Mike Stone on the Down to Earth podcast. Bless up to all our sponsors up north. Society Cities, Six Dot, Prince Beats, Yoki, Herbal Culture, and 420. Bless up. Coming through right on time. Yeah. Bless up. What are you saying? Coming through the universe, connecting. What's popping, y'all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the building, bro. Got to rep the sponsors. You see it? You see yeah. it? You double up. Of course, of course, of course. Toast to Toronto, B. Bam, bam. You see it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is the joint right here, B. The vodka's nice. I can't even lie. Can't even lie. Yeah. Yeah, man. We've been saying since we've talked. All kind of shit, bro. All kind of shit. Just trying to keep saying, you know? Yeah, man. I know a lot of people probably might say controversial, but it's just real. real. It's not controversial, man. I don't know why anyone... If anyone thinks it's controversy, then I don't don't know what kind of reality they're living, you know? You're right. You're right. Before anything, before anything, get the bottle. Get the bottle, Sean. Get the bottle, man. Yo, yo, yo. Let's let's toast to Toronto right now. Yeah, man. Chelsea, bam, bam. Seen, bam, bam. You know what I mean? One of our official sponsors for Down to Earth Podcast. I, I didn't even notice it says this here. Yeah. Um, ah. Canadian Hip Hop's ah, legit. Ah. I didn't even know it said that on the bottle, yo. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bless up. Bless up. Let's salute all together. Mm. What it is, man. So, yo. Mm. Since since we talked a couple months ago, like, now, how you feel? Now, we kind of <laughs> said what's going to happen. <laughs> Yo, know, like, certain things can't be said on this on this platform. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what they have in store for us, man. You know what I mean? It always depends on what you believe in, what you read or read. Yeah. And but I yo, yo, can we, can we get a little bit down with, with um, just a little bit down with um, a bit of the wrap up of Toronto hip hop r- wrap up yeah, uh, about your views 
I don't know. You know what I mean? You got a lot to say. Uh, about Toronto? What's been happening in the past year? Well, yeah. Well, just, <laughs> well no, but just, just with some of the artists or whatever. You know what I mean? I know you. Like, you're, you're critical. You're very you're, ta you're, you're talking the ones that are popping or the ones that are, anything, are good? Anything, no, anything what's <laughs> popping, anything what you know, or anything Mercy. what's you 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 you're feeling you know what i'm saying well there's something i felt of for a long time i don't there's not a lot of original type of art they're like a lot of artists they're not original they're doing what everybody else is doing they're talking about what everybody else is talking about right so yeah money cars bitches fine cool throughout this whole bs we've been going through how many artists have really been touched I know they have, but some haven't touched on what's going on. Chief Rekka is one of those artists that speaks about everything across the board. And, he, and he's original with his shit. Right? But in general, the majority of it is drill type of South style type of stuff. It is good for what it is. A lot of it too is a lot of violence, which is not doing any good for nobody because you can't really play those songs outside of YouTube. Like, I can't go play that at a corporate event if I was doing a corporate event. Even some clubs would say, hey, you know what? You can't play that type of music here. Mm -hmm. So if you're good with just getting your streams and shit, fine. You'll get popular that way, but sooner or later, you can't keep that up. Yeah. Especially when you get bigger. Yeah. You can't keep doing that, right? So that's just a synopsis of how I feel about what's been going on over the past year, past five years. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of a lot of people they ended up getting shot or they ended up in jail. Yeah. Right. So, was that gonna get them? Not getting them far. And yeah. Younger, you said the youth or younger artists they don't understand by you can't live two life. You want to do this uh, professional, professionally. You yeah. Can you can't have a record. That's what you yeah, the try. thing is, when you're young and you don't have anybody older to show you, or if you don't choose to listen. You're not going to get it until a certain point in time. Yeah. And there's people that end up in their like late 20s, 30s, and they're like, shit, I should have did this, I should have did that. But they didn't know at the time when they were younger. Or they end up, you know, they say they did some jail time. So they're in there for a bit, then they come out. Back to the same old thing. It's unfortunate still. But, but that's on. That's what the artists that do that type of music, right? But Not all the artists in the city do that type of music, but there's a good majority that do. Yeah. But yeah. if you want serious, but okay, it's COVID now, but I mean, to, to, to really make money as an artist, to tra if you could travel, if you got the funds to travel, right? Yeah. You, instead of just being local, right? Yeah. That's, when, that's the real definition of artists who go anywhere. Not yeah, anywhere. of course. Of course. You know, this record you can't move anywhere you can't do nothing you can't do a thing and, and there's, there's honestly there's nothing wrong with being local right yeah nothing wrong with being local but right? sure it's still like the thing is at the end of the day it's what type of artist you want to be do you just yeah. want to be a a person that's not even local but you only talk about certain subject matter yeah that's as far as you're gonna go because when when someone from your wants to book you for a show now you can't leave true See? For whatever reason, you can't leave. Yes, yeah, if someone so, want book come to LA or something. Yeah, you're popping big here, all in Canada, and after all of a sudden, someone wants you in LA, but you can't go because you have a record. You can't go, but there's people that can go, right? And I, they, they, I guess they don't have a record or whatever the situation is where they, you know what I mean. But that's that's far and few. If you have a if you have a record, it's hard to you can't you can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel so, about who could do who don't have no record who could make those moves? Well, if you can make those moves, go go for it. But my thing is, if you're doing a particular type of music that could potentially get you a record or end up in a box, mm -hmm. you got to think about it because. You know, you could cross the border for a certain period of time until something happens. Yeah, like I said, they're not people ain't trying to get Talib Kweli and Common Sense and whoever. I could mention people from here too, right? Yeah, but they're, those type of artists, they're not trying to do anything to, or they don't got extensive beef, or they're not trolling, or they're just making good music and putting it out there. Yeah, 
jet. And they go all over the place. So, so you, you know, it's a ch the choice is theirs, right? Whatever people want to choose to do, they can do it. I can't, if an artist is, whatever. If a, say an artist is a conscious artist, right? And I, I say, you know what, make some gun tune because if you make some gun tune now, that's going to pop off. If they don't want to do it, then so be it. So imagine t telling a man who makes gun gunman tunes to make a conscious tune and he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> you can't run for them. Can't help them. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, it's worse. Even in Jamaica right now, too, like certain artists are getting booked and, 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 and doing time or even getting killed or shot. And it's always the same artist making the same type of music. So it's not just here. It's not just America. Yeah. In England, same thing. Well, look at that 21 Savages brother got stabbed to death. And it's funny. When he got stabbed to death, I think 21 Savage had something to say about either King Vaughn or, or somebody something or, or somebody said something and he said something about the person. Two yeah. tools, his brother gets murdered. In yeah. England. In England. So... It's not being a rapper. It's what type of rapper are you and what type of lifestyle are you living? Bring that energy, that negative yeah. energy towards you. So right now, because you, you, what, what you you're a DJ. I know that you're a DJ or a selector or what? A music, yeah. A, a, a player of music. So what? how do you feel like for you, your, your, um, the culture, you're part of the culture. Like how, yeah. you, I've been seeing you on, like adapting, right? Because it's yeah, like, politics with the, you remember uh, uh, say you can't play this music here and you can't play that music here. But when it's the clubs, they need the DJ. When the clubs yeah. are open, DJ, right? So like, yeah, just, your, give me your view on that. Like how your experience been through in terms of what playing what? That's just uh, like how you see DJs adapting to this new um, this new time. You get what I mean? Like can't go out to know. Well, it depends where you live, right? Because yeah. there's parties going on in the States as we speak. <laughs> it depends what region is locked down and which one is not. So, in lockdown, so, you can't do so, so what what's that? So, in the lockdown, I would say the, the places where they're locked down. Like, say if, so, if everyone's on lock. So, what? You go online, you do your thing, and yeah, you, you still have fun. <laughs> Remember, it started in your house, you know. Yeah. So if you go back to your house and that's where it started from, what's, there's no problem. <laughs> to me, there's no issue because this is where most people spend hours and hours practicing and getting, you know, yeah. getting better or not even caring about getting better. But you have to start in your house or someone's house or someone's basement or whatever. Yeah. You can't just, oh, I want to be a DJ or an artist and just run to a club and get your first thing like that and be good and want to get booked again. Yeah. You have to put in the work, so back to back to the drawing board. <laughs> I don't look at it as a negative. Other than the money aspect, I don't look at it as a negative. Yeah, that's true. Still. Mm. So, how, do you feel like now that the government, what they said, they, they're putting out two hundred million dollars, like in the last couple of months, for black entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Mm -hmm. What we should do if, 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 to, to like benefit from that, because a lot of people don't know about that. They but you have to see if you're that. eligible first and foremost. Are yeah. you eligible for the funds? <laughs> if you're not eligible you? for the funds, huh? What's the record? What's what's the requirement? I don't know. I never read it. I never read on it. Still, personally, I know about it, but I never read up. I never put, took my time to read on it. Okay. Right. So, so fresh. Let's show you hmm? something. Oh no, they put it out there. But I remember. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember when they put it out there. But again, it's all about are you eligible to get the money? It doesn't hurt, but check. You yeah, know? but I didn't bother checking. I don't know. I didn't bother checking. I'm, I, because for me personally, am I going to move forward with this? I don't know. I already have a plan to exit it within the next two years. Yeah. Right? So when, as soon as my business expires, I'll make a decision if I'm going to continue. Now, because of this situation, and who knows what's going to happen in the next year, two years, are we? Are there even going to be venues still around? Right. And if there's no venues, even when it comes to weddings, when it comes to corporate events, when it comes yeah. to this and that, other than virtual, if these things don't exist no more, my business is done. 
So even if I get the money, my business is done. <laughs> so I have to do something different. So, and who knows if I'm going to even bother to decide. I might just work and done. So who knows? Yeah, who but knows? if you're eligible, you should go for it. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people could go for it. They're putting yeah. about $200 million out. Yeah. You tell me, even if 10 people got mm -hmm. some money, black entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. that would make a difference. Somewhere, you'd see some company. Well, it depends what kind of difference. And it depends are, are, in terms of employment. Are those yeah. people, who are they mandated to employ if they only employ black people? See, are they allowed to? This is something, it's like a guilt type of sh sh yeah, shit because um, Trudeau's the one who introduced it after yeah. the Black Lives Matter stuff was going yeah. on. Black Lives Matter. That's mm. that you've heard about anything like this, right? Yeah. So a, a guilt type of thing, $200 million. But you mm. have to a good plan, right? It probably won't yeah. work. Whoever is... They're they're getting it to and you probably could get it. Yeah, come on, try. There's yeah, it doesn't hurt trying. It doesn't <laughs> hurt trying. But they're at the time when this came out, personally, what's that? They're giving out the money. So you might as well just put yeah, out. Yeah, you might as well try it. <laughs> My might, but just for me, anyways. When I heard about it, because of all the bullshit that was going on, I just didn't care, you know. <laughs> made it like huh? That, you made it like was that? that with the they made it with the emotion, with the whole thing that was going on. Then they, they, well, when they, no one. Well, really my, no, it's not even that. Yes, I know. It really depends how you want to look at it, and that's the whole point. It's all about okay. I see something. You see something. You're seeing it, and you're putting these slants on it, right? Not saying you're not right. You're right. But the, you know what I mean? But someone could look at it from a totally different perspective. I always want to hear that. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So it really depends on the individual, what type of business they have, yeah. where they, you know what I mean? Is it only for startups? <laughs> Is it for businesses that have been around for X amount of years? Yeah. What industries? All kind of stuff, right? I've gotten grants from the government already for business, yeah. right? So at the end of the day, you have to be eligible for these things. Yeah, as long as you have right? So I've got, yeah. Look, like eligible, you get um, yeah. Make but sometimes you can't make yourself eligible because if things are the eligibility you don't have, yeah, you're gonna have to get it. But it might be a time frame for certain things. So, a resident of this, a citizen, a da 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 da. So if you don't even have certain basic things, you're not get, you're not get it. It just I'm just talking in general. I'm not talking about this one specifically, right? Right though, you're right. You're probably right. Yeah. Though. Because you remember, it's money, 200, it could be up to yeah. a single uh, a person or whatever, right? Yeah. You're probably right. It's too good. It's like the lottery, a fast, too good to be true. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, too good to be true. It's just you have to read. It's just like, okay, even with the um the mask thing, right? Yeah. Where I had a friend who was freaking about the mask thing. I said, you know, you, you know, by law, you don't really have to wear, right? And uh, I said, did you read the thing? He went in circles, circles, and then he finally said, you're right. It says, so why didn't you read it? If you read it, then you wouldn't have to panic. <laughs> because I read it. I know I could, I can have an exemption. But I say, you know what? I don't care. I'm never really in a store that long anyways. Yeah. I mean, for 10 minutes, I'm gone. In so I don't care about wearing it. True. I literally probably wore a mask, I don't know how many times this year. So, Once so a week. I'm going to ask you, because everybody know about this this man. I, he was, I don't know if it was here or he went somewhere. Uh, he, he's all of a sudden in the States. Tory Lanez. Yeah. Tory Lanez, I swear. Wasn't he in Canada the other day? The other day? Like a couple of weeks ago. And now he's not. He's gone. I don't um, know if he was here the other day. I, I'm I'm confused. Didn't they deport him? No. He was, he, was in, he was in Florida and in L.A. the whole time. And New York, he was, he was in the States. The whole entire time. So, oh, so he can't, mm -hmm. can't leave. No, them not, the, the, the thing oh. with deportation, they don't just deport you when you just, oh, you're yeah, this something. Mm -hmm. Right? My brothers, my brothers, when they were 
They were in the States. They got deported after. But yeah. they served time in in New York, right? Or wherever, whatever. I don't know the actual, actual situation. All three of them went to jail. One yeah. came out, he got deported, right? And then the other two now, the reason why they got deported, you see what 9-11 happened now? George Bush Jr., yeah. I think he wrote some order where it's like, if you're not a citizen and you have a and you have a a criminal record, whether it's if you're a citizen or not, I don't know if my brothers were citizens or not, and they were working good jobs and everything. They rounded them up and sent them back. Shit. Right. So it all depends on your situation, if you're gonna get deported or not. So, yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen with this trial that he has, right. but he might get deported. He might not. Maybe, yeah, he might not. You're right. <laughs> it really depends. It really depends. Like, I, I have another brother. He's been in and out of jail. You know what I mean? He, he's not a citizen. And he's still there. Oh, see? 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 It's not necessary you just get, get deported like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yo, with this COVID now, they have a vaccine thing. They said huh? they have a, all of a sudden now. They're not sure if you're making more sick. <laughs> they don't know blood fuck off. <laughs> Even my doctor, I talked to my doctor today. And he, he brought up the tox, but he brought it up slick. First, he brought up the flu shot. And I said, oh, I don't even take the flu shot. So I'm like, why is he asking me about the flu shot? Then I guess he was trying to ease it in, you know? Then he yeah. brought in the vaccine talk. And I said, well, you know, liabilities, this, that, this, that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, for real. And he's like, yeah, I, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait to see how viable this thing is. So I think he's trying to sell it to me, but he's thinking what I'm thinking. Right. He's a holy he's a holistic doctor. Yeah. Right. So at least I know this man's not trying to kill me. From what I think, I know maybe he's trying to kill me. I don't know. <laughs> you understand? So because he got me on pills, right? But yeah. I can come off of the pills. I can come off of the pills still. It's up to me now on diet and all that shit, you know? Uh, so now this Christmas time is coming up now. I feel like people are like, go, go, a lot of people have been out of work for a long time. So people are going more crazy. Well, it all I told my friend in the beginning of this shit, it's all depending on how people were living before today. Yeah. So if they, if they weren't putting their money away or, or you're being responsible or they have too many bills or they living off of credit or they have kids, boom, 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 boom. Them bills pile up like a mother. You understand? So of course you're going to go crazy. How am I going to pay for these things? But there's work out there too. That's the whole point. It's like, but I get it. If you're working a certain amount of money at a certain job, you don't want to come down a level and work some little idiot job. Yeah. But True. at the same time, you might not have a choice. Yeah. So what are you going to do? If you don't have a choice, what are you going to do? Yeah. No, right now I'm ready to go get a one, two jobs, guy. I don't care. I work on one, two jobs and start my bread, guy. I don't give a fuck right now. <laughs> Money have a run. Yeah. Huh? Money have a run, dog. Yeah. I see. You know what I mean? So... But I feel for people who have a lot of bills and they got kids and all this stuff because it, it's 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 hard. Yeah, it is. It's a hard time. And you have to try to stay strong if you're doing it like that. You know? Yeah. Also, and everything. You know what I mean? You, you, you were in the cities. I see you were in the cities. Yeah, oh, man. I, you linked with them long time. Yeah, he was on our podcast. I think I forgot when. No, he came. Yeah. He came. I went up north. You know what I mean? And he had the merch with him. He had the merch with him, so. Long time. Yeah, yeah. So he just blessed with the hat and things. So I was like, yeah, man, I like this hat still stuff. <laughs> yeah. Look at Tory Lane just going live right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Bless up the city. A sponsor on the show now. We're yeah, man. Straight. Up. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to have a, a virtual concert. Mm hmm. Organize what we've been uh, planning for a good while. Couple okay. Live, you're gonna see some live, some at their place, but mostly live. Mm -hmm. a, a whole lineup. 
Danny O, Mega Sean, Chief Wrecker. Yeah, yeah. DT, Frankie Payne. Yeah, Frankie Payne. Some others. Mm -hmm. It's a heavy lineup still. Century. Mm -hmm. Forget who else. Man. There's a whole bunch. Others. Casper Mark is going to be from London. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's doing something. Who else? A dandy Boys from Toronto. Oh, yeah. Young. Mm -hmm. Them coming out. Who else? Uh, a good amount, man. <laughs> Julian Broderick. Julian Broderick. <laughs> mm. Yeah, man. It's going to be live from like 12 o'clock in the day all the way to okay. like 12 in the night. Then another sponsor, a beatsman. He d he's from uh, New Jersey. Road okay. Forget who else. And one from Las Vegas, Tay Hustle. That will be mm -hmm. late night, the after party. So yeah, like yeah. All day, mm -hmm. like 9 o'clock, and then there's mm -hmm. like after party. Okay. So, news talking right now. <laughs> okay. You have to put something down because no one doing no one's doing nothing really. Yo. No, no, not really. But you know, it's it's how yeah. the things set up, right? So yeah. it's hard. It's hard to like to one plan one something and then boom, Doug Ford is gonna tell you lockdown, ray, 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 yeah, yeah. and it's like okay, now I can't even open up the spot. So, but the virtual yeah. things is it's 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 the way to go right now, you know. Yeah, you it's the way to go. One. Every artist gonna come one by one. You get what I mean? Do their thing. Mm -hmm. Down and yeah, I, saw, I saw the stage setup looks good. Yeah, bless up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we're gonna do it. So yo, like I see that you're doing some DJing recently on online, yo. Like I haven't seen that you, you were resting for a while before. Yeah, man. I I I told my boy yo, make everyone burn themselves out. Let them burn themselves out because I know it's gonna happen. You notice a lot of DJs went live, yeah. and then you notice it it, cut, it calmed down, right? Notice, yeah. So while 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 they're all doing their thing, I'm there watching tutorial videos, and fi we're figuring out to make it better or yeah. make sure it's running a certain level. Mm -hmm. So while they're burning out their energy, I was just chilling, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, "Okay, watch." Can I burn out and then when I start doing the thing. Yeah. It's, it looks good still, man. Still it looks real good and everything, man. I gotta so, improve it still. That's just that's just a test. That's just a little test. Yes, yeah. Like yeah. Now, this is a test right now. You see the smart yeah. No one don't really use them things, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you what you're doing you're doing that off of IG or you're doing that off a of next program to IG? Just IG straight. Street yeah, street. that's big, yo. Yeah, that's man. big. So well, that's that's what. Yeah, I use Yellow Duck, but you can't request people in Yellow Duck. That's the fucked up part. Yeah. So your chief is one who's gonna be starting off the show too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Him, same money you're talking about earlier. Yeah, man. Fire tomorrow. One. Yeah. Gonna be on one thirty. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Beyond, yo. So, yo, what you want to see for, for example, the scene of Toronto right now to happen? <laughs> to happen? Because you said all the violence. Do you think... Bro, you that part, you? yeah, that need to cut out from a long time still. But how can I tell somebody who comes from those areas what mm -hmm. to and what to... Like, I can warn them and be like, yo, this is going to lead to this. Yeah. And this is going to lead to that. <laughs> but are you going to... At the end of the day, it's their choice. True. And at the end of the day, it's like, who are you anyway? So come tell me anything. Ray, ray, ray. So, yeah. there's only so much I can do to tell somebody anything. It's a choice they have to make at the end of the day. So if they see, if you can't even see when your homie gets locked or shot, that this is a, not, not a way to go, then how, what, could, what could I tell you? It's true. I hear you saying, yeah, their point of view. Uh, yeah, but I get... I get how and why they do what they do, but they don't understand how detrimental it is to themselves. Yeah, to their career, if they want a career. Yeah, not even career, to themselves. Fuck your career. Like, you don't yeah, have yeah. to be a rapper. You don't right. have to be in the entertainment business. Yeah. You understand? You could do anything. Anything, and it could be detrimental. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Right? But that's the whole point. Like, even that, like, we shouldn't have to only look at 
you know, doing crime, being entertainment industry, maybe playing basketball as options. Those are not, this should be the only three options that we can look at. To, okay, that's what, that's, that's success. Be a doctor, yeah. be a lawyer, be a tradesman, drive a bus. I don't care what. You understand? Be a teacher, yeah. be a, I don't know, whatever. You don't have to just want to do, do that. You know what I mean? They have to but they need to know, know that's a viable option. They're not being shown it's a viable option. Yeah. They're only showing three things. One, ball, your chances are, I wouldn't say low, but I know enough guys who want to go play college ball or what, you know, they play at the lower schools. They never end up in the NBA. That's fine, but you never end up in the NBA. They have to decide to do something else. Yeah. No, hold on. What am I in Tyrone, right? You know, T Rex? T Rex yeah. from. Um, yeah. From, yeah. I don't know if him, but I know a bunch of his people that they all played ball. Right, they went to school in the states. They didn't. They didn't become ball players, but yeah, they, like like he went into entertainment, right? But his path has been a different path yeah. than most people. Like I can't. I couldn't tell you anyone I know who went from really doing parties to ending up on TV. Yeah, like the way he's done it as a host. But is it just that he did parties in there, or what did he do in between? Because did he need any education requirements yeah. to end up on television? And did he have it from before or did he learn it on his way? Who knows? But, you know, we got we have to broaden our horizons. Yeah. And for your horizons to be broadened, someone has to show you as a youth. Not just you alone is going to come to that conclusion. Yeah. Right? Like I have a brother and he's a rapper right now. He's from, he's from here, but he moved to Atlanta. He went to school to be a doctor, right? His parents wanted him to be a doctor. You know, he's Indian, right? So you know how they are. They're like doctor, engineer, right? And, you know, sorry, I'm getting drunk now. But then he decided, you know what? I want to do entertainment, and I can always fall back and be a doctor. And he's, he, doesn't, he hasn't fallen back yet. But at least he went to school and got that. So oh, if he ever wants to be a doctor or fall yeah. back on something, he has something to fall back on. Fall back. But we're not yeah. all in the same position, so it is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah. I just see a lot of people getting, you know, they get inside track and end up in jail or dead. Yeah. And it's like, what a waste. You know what I mean? So, yo, what do you feel about now Trump? That is gone, like. I'm not, I put it like this: until it's official, and I mean technically official, I'm not saying not until January the twentieth. Either the Republicans or whoever are going doing their their darndest job to reverse every blood clot thing right now. The Republicans. Yeah, man. Even though, okay, there's a bunch of cases that got thrown out, right? I don't know yeah. the exact amount. But they're going, they're going that extra mile. They're, they're, they're fully saying it's fraud. Oh, right? Shit. The Democrats or the left are saying, no, there's no evidence. Even there's even Republicans that are telling Trump to just drop it because they don't see no evidence. So, so he, what's he trying to, what's he trying to do? He said he's just trying to play around with the whole, um, election. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. He believes there's fraud. He, he, his team feels there's evidence that there's fraud, well, and he's gonna. The vice versa. Before when he became the president, they were bringing up Russia and shit, and he was running from that those questions. Yeah, but they never really proved Russia was involved in anything. But how could they prove this? Well, we'll see what happens. Like, I think by January six, I forgot exactly what's gonna happen, but yeah. by January twentieth, if you don't see Biden, if you don't see Biden getting sworn in, then we know what time it is. Oh, I see what you mean. If you don't see no swearing in January, there's a time account. Yeah. Like, there's a time limit, December 14th. I forgot the exact thing. To, I think it went to the Supreme Court, or there was a deadline to even have the, um, to see if there was any fraud in the election. And that cut off. And then, no, no, it was for the certification. 
So they certified that Biden is the president on the on the fourteenth. Yeah. Right, but the the but Trump's team is still going against that. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Right. I'm not. I'm not for or against Trump. Yeah. Right. I'm more like what is what's real and what's fake. So it what's you know if it's real then work with it. If it's fake, fuck it. Yeah. Because Biden is a piece of shit. Biden is a big piece of shit. He's no better than Trump. Yeah. Yeah. You, you didn't hear what he just said? He, he told a bunch of black leaders the other day in a meeting? Oh, where is it? Where is Google, it? You, he said a whole lot of shit. A whole lot. I can't even say verbatim. You'd have to go, go look look it up. He Biden. basically said, he basically said, don't ask me for shit. I'll do what I can, but I ain't really going to do nothing. Don't pressure me. Yes, and that's the, that's, the, that's the nice way of me saying it. Don't push it. Buddy. Yeah, that's a nice way of saying it. Don't push it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> buddy yo. You played them, man. What, 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 do you have anything like a plan? Like, I know you can't plan anything. Anything can change. But what, what do you want to see for like yourself for this new year coming in? You know what I mean, like whatever you do. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my life, see where what it brings. If it's four months, six months, whatever. Hopefully, this place open up again a bit, and hopefully, you know, do what I can. Yeah, man. Because if there's no more venues, I mean, we open up and there's no more venues. What can I do? You understand? <laughs> Maybe get a banquet hall, but will the banquet halls even be around? Because how many banquet halls are keeping events right now? They're they're paying rent. They're still paying rent or whatever. So think about it. Six months, no revenue. What do you think is going to happen to those places? Some of these places have been struggling for a year. We're going to have another lockdown. It's going to make it worse. Yeah. Look how many venues are already closed from March till now. True. Bless up, Rose. So, yeah, a lot of things close. A lot of artists. That's why, as an artist, you gotta adapt. And yeah. So, so if I gotta do virtual parties, I'll do some virtual parties. I don't mind. You got, I I seen that. I was saying this a long time even before. Yeah. Now. This is the future. When I came, like I said, when I came on the gram, I came out as the live MC. I would yeah. come out and just do a free, just freestyle off the top. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna be the future. People are gonna be, if they battle or whatever, come online, gonna battle yeah. or whatever shit. And how they freestyle now, on, or whatever they do, online. Mm -hmm. I was doing that when it, when I came on. That was me, the live MC, because it was like, what, uh, IG live, right? So I said, yeah. live MC. That's my nickname. Just doing that shit. Yeah. Like how you just come on as the, the DJ, just playing, cutting and all that shit. Uh, yeah, but now you adapt, and you know, Mike Stone, down to earth, whatever. Sean Myrie, that's I put down. That was my alias, the live MC when I came on. Yeah, and now it worked the system. Mm. Working the system, see how all the systems working before, because <laughs> you could change it into anything on here. Yeah, exactly. Have a name. Mm. Yeah, man. So, yo, Chill City. What do you think of Chill's uh, <laughs> vodka? Yo, the thing, turn up. It's it's nice up. and smooth. It's smooth, man. And it gets you drunk quick, so you don't got to drink a lot of it. You yeah, got a lot of it. Huh? No, we got a lot of it. I know, but what I'm saying is it will last long because it, it, it drunk you quick. <laughs> I can't drink too much shit. <laughs> and know. then the bottle the bottle's like a collector's item. You don't want to want to throw away the bottle. I throw away the bottle. Nice. Yeah. It's a nice bottle. So, yo, who you, like I would say, not commercially, but you said ch I'm interested to ask your top six. Yeah, man. MCs of all time. Of all time, six? <laughs> Coming from a deep 
I'm gonna I'm gonna diss a lot of people for the six. So, uh, see, already four gone already. Rock Cam Cares one, Cool G Rap, yeah. the boy name again. Rock if they fuck off already. <laughs> Just, I already have a top four that I, I never change. Rock Cam, <laughs> Cool G, and Big Daddy Kane. Right, so that's four. Then Biggie. Yeah. And then, see, I got a six. I just, this, it's either Jay-Z or Nas, flip-flop. Whoa, that's a powerful life. So that's but a then, powerful. there's Big Pun, there's Big L. Yeah, more there's some other stuff. people, but, yeah. yeah. That one, said that lineup already is powerful right there. Yeah. yeah. But those four, those first four, they're probably my favorite of all time. I don't care what anybody did after them. Everyone was good after them, but I don't care who did what after those four guys. True. Rakim, Karis One, Big Daddy mm. Kane. Yeah. Oh, you said. Uh, what, cool G-Rap. G-Rap, yeah, of course. Yeah. Cool G-Rap. Yeah. And then you flip-flapping between Nas and Jay-Z. Yeah, right? just because for six, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Biggie. Oh, still a good and biggie. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah extra. You just want to fatten that up more. That's past. Yo, biggie. Yo, when I biggie, I would put biggie as number one. One, but I can't because Rakim make and those guys come before him. <laughs> it's a good selection, yo. Yo, so yo, man, for the wrap up of the Down to Earth podcast, because you were like the sick. I'm trying to think if you're the first or the. Sick. The second guest mm. of the podcast before cities, it was cities and up mm. north. And you, who came on from the beginning, this was from yeah. like, or something. So this mm. is like, a, like you got, I mean, the season finale because we have the my merch, another break off what we created to talk yeah. about the merch, people's inventions or whatever they got, clothes or whatever. You get what I mean? But um, yeah, man. Bless up, Mike Stone, for coming through, man. Yeah, man. I I, lo I lo love the progress, guy. I've been yeah. seeing the how the thing grew, you know. Good to yeah, see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. Linking everybody. You get what I mean? Yeah, of course. Who y'all? People. Salute. You got this. Yeah, man. Bam, bam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mike Stone, much respect. Season wrap up 2020 yeah, man. coming. Check him out on his live every time. I don't know when he come on, but yeah, right now I'm just doing random. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to fuck with the algorithm and see, you know, yeah, when to get right. certain types of people at certain times. Yeah, man. Anytime, check Mike Stone. Much respect. Follow him if it's on Facebook or on Instagram, whatever. Bless up, King. Yeah, man, definitely. Much respect to you. Chill City. Bless up. Yeah, man, respect, y'all. Respect. Y'all yeah. no, know, respect, y'all.